I'm Travis Crew. And I'm Matt Hathaway. Welcome to FHNN. For those of you who haven't seen it, here's Michael Munn interviewing Masik Pesic about the school board. Hello, I'm Michael Munn, and I'm here with Ma Mason Pesic, the student liaison to the school board. So Mason, can you tell us what happened in the most recent school board meeting? Well, during the board meeting, um, th there was a motion that was going to be passed which would um, ba essentially pay for Mr. Riss's um, salary and all of his bonuses while also paying for a $1,200 grant for the tech prep um, program, which was provided by an organization that Dr. Wood has been working with um, to basically help Ohio schools. And they were going to pay us all this just to allow Dr. Wood to keep working with them and have a room available in the school to work on, on more programs for them. But the board voted it down mainly for no apparent reason other than they disliked Dr. Wood. And they additionally, there came to light that they were discussing things behind the backs of two board members, um, Sue Green and John Young, about possibly firing Mr. Patsy over um, criticisms that they basically couldn't back up when brought to light. So Mason, how do you feel about the school board meeting not being taped? Ridiculous they didn't tape the board meeting because it shows that they don't want the community involved and they do not want the community to know what's going on in these board meetings, which essentially are just ridiculous. There's no... There's no professional conduct done at these board meetings. Basically, um, Ms. Cooper and Mr. Ketchum smirk at each other and laugh and giggle and talk to each other while either Mr. Patsy, Mr. Young, or Ms. Gre Ms. Green is talking, which is, I mean, that's no way for a board to be run. And Mr. Daly is pr pretty much incapable of keeping them in line or doing anything that shows that he's a leader and is able to lead that board. Don't drink a drag. Stay alive on prom night. Welcome back. Up next is Adrian Stover with question of the day. Hi, I'm Adrian Stover with the question of the day. And the question of the day is, do you like the prom theme? I'm not going, but I guess it's all right. I ain't got nothing. I guess it's okay. I would rather have like a new thing. Don't say that. Okay, then I'm gonna Um, I think that this year's prom theme is all right. It's really not that big of a deal to me. Prom isn't that important to me, but um, it sounds great. I know that Miss Phillips is in charge, and she'll have everything perfect. So, hey, it's cool with me. I like the prom theme. I think that. Of course, I like the theme of prom. I'm junior. Yeah, sounds good. Me and Morgan are making the prom happen. Here we are again. Here's Colin Stout with the special guest joke of the week. Guaranteed to be funny. Hi, I'm Colin Stout with our special guest Stephen Marsh for the joke of the week. Stephen? Alright, this girl goes to the eye doctor and they're sitting there and she gets her eye exam and the doc says, well I got some good news and I got some bad news. She's like, well, give me the bad news first. He's like, well, you're blind in your left eye. She's like, well, give me the good news. He's like, you won't be able to see out of the right one. Here with our special guest, Charlie Prophet, with the joke of the week. Charlie? All right. Why did it take 17 blondes to get into the R-rated movie? Because 17 and under wasn't permitted. <laughs> Thank you for watching FHNN. Until next time.